out with my friend last night that I hadn't seen in like over a year. And she kept me out a little bit late. So we had a good time. I'm a little slow getting up this morning and getting in here to see everybody. They're not gonna at least leave this heat lamp today so I can unplug it, but they definitely used it last night. It was pretty chilly last night, like in the low 40s or 30s, I think. We're gonna have some cooler temperatures this week. I kind of just got out here to give everybody a little bit of dinner and to kind of count heads and make sure everybody was okay. Do any of that, they didn't drink a ton of water yesterday because it was not very warm or sunny, but it is going to be hot today. Almost 80. Everybody's fine. Just gotta get going this morning. Just gotta get going, yeah. Good morning, Toot Toot. Good morning, Milo. There's toffee. They were a little bit frustrated with me last night and we're trying to kind of stop evening feedings for everybody. It was just kind of a quick head count and a little snack. And the boys and the pigs didn't get anything to eat. So I'm sure everybody's hungry and ready to go this morning. Are you guys hungry and ready to go? Do we're hungry, ready to go, Mom. All right, let's have breakfast. keep dumping it all on the floor. There's just so much grass. Jeremy's gone to mow at the other house today and then bring the mower over here to mow the backyard. So I need to do a little weed eating today in the spots that need to be weed eated. Hi buddy. So this did work yesterday when I blocked off this side of the pasture. The girls did stay out a little bit longer on the rotational pen. And we kind of talked about, we may end up having to build like a lane to the gate to where they have to go out so that we can get these two front pastures some rest because they really need some time to grow up a little bit. I need to famacha everybody today. Um, I was gonna move pigs, but I need about a week, a week or two more before I put them in together. Good morning, come on. already toasty out here this morning. It's already toasty out here. Good morning, pooper scoopers. Get out of the bowl. So here in probably two weeks, we'll just move pork chop back in with these guys. Be able to bring a panel over from the other house and block up into the backyard so that they can come out here. I don't really worry about the pigs necessarily hurting anything in the backyard, but they and Duke don't get along very well if they're not supervised. Pigs and dogs, even guardian dogs can have issues and not really, Duke doesn't have an issue with them, they just don't like him and so that it's just not safe for everybody unless I'm out here and they haven't been able to spend a whole lot of time together supervised to get used to each other you guys ready to come out for the day
Okay, so it's our little gates. So let's see if we can get everybody down here this morning. What do you guys think? Are you ready? Ready to come out for the day? This is like, I know where I'm going. Got a few takers. If I need a famacha, everybody, today, we've had some thicker poop. They've also been out on this really thick grass. And the grass is coming in, so it's just a kind of time of year where I have to check a little bit more often because I don't really know what's what. Come this way! Come this way! Come on! Come on! Come on, let's go out for the day. to come but there's a dog barking at us so we're very confused come on babies come on here we go here we go let's go play come on Baby goat jungle gym. Okay, so I'm gonna try to run around and match everybody real quick. Just check eyelid color if you don't know what I'm talking about. We're checking for parasites today. So for internal parasites, what I do is check eyelid color and there's like a scale and that helps me decide who needs to be wormed and who doesn't need to be wormed. Right now we're not milking because my pump is broken and so it's a really great time to go ahead and do some chemical wormer if we need it for anybody. I typically worm right after hitting. We haven't needed to, so I do need to check all my mama goats and make sure that they're good and all the other goats. They're all right here, so this will be a good time to just check and see if somebody could use a quick worm or not. So we worm based on Famacha, which is a color score, again, on their eyelids, not just on a schedule because of parasite resistance to chemical wormers. And we do a double or triple dose of wormer where we give two different wormers in combination or three different wormers in combination. And that seems to be working very well for us in recent years for parasite management. But that is what I'm gonna do really quick while they're all debating whether or not they really wanna be out here. whole crew the twiz is probably my worst and then cc everybody else looks fabulous i haven't checked pixie daisy or bunny i'm gonna go chase bunny and check her i'll try to get daisy hello tiny pixie's hard to catch so i have to wait until i have an opportunity in the barn to grab her friendliest goat sit down she comes up for love loves to be scratched but she and daisy both know if you're trying to catch them to medicate them or to do anything that they don't like, and we'll run away from you. Pepperoni probably looks the best, which would make sense. He and Tink, get Milo. But yeah, it's just really quick and easy. I do it probably every two weeks. We check everybody, we see if we need wormer. We just had a copper bolus. We're all out on fresh grass, we're rotating, they've got plenty of space. I didn't expect to have any really serious parasite issues just because we stay on top of it. And with fresh grass being available, it means they're not eating and pooping all in the same place all the time. And this grass is tall, so where they get the worms is down at the base of the grass. The plan is to, to worm twiz 
and CC. And I'm not gonna do it like right now, I'll probably do it sometime this afternoon when I get a couple of things taken care of when they're all in the barn and easy to access. I don't know what Bunny is doing. Somebody did ask me the other day to point out which babies go with which moms. That's really tricky. Sorry, they're Canadian geese having a fit over here. To do when we're all, they're all like this, but I will try really quick. So this is Toot Toot or Tootsie, and this is Tinkerbell. They're sisters, Tink is two. Toffee's one of the new babies. And their mom is this one. So this is Cece, so that's Toot Toot's mom this year is Cece. Toffee, so that, this one is Toffee. He's running away from me right now. Her mom is Bunny, who's the solid white goat. This one. So this is Bunny and this is to her baby Toffee. They go together. These two brown and white bucklings, so uh, Crockett and Boone, go with Poppy. This is Poppy. Who do we have over here? Coco. So this little chocolate one is Coco. It's another doling. She goes Nani. This is Nani. And Pepper, this little gray and white weather, is her brother from last year. Then Milo is the little white, mostly white and light brown. This one. This is Milo. Buckling goes with Padme. So this is Padme. And Padme is Bunny's daughter. So this is a bunny, Padme, and then Milo. And then the triplets. So these little Shamwazi three right here are all Twizzlers, the black coat. So that's who goes with who. Pixie and Zelda are my two that are out here that didn't breed. So Zelda had babies this fall. She had three little bucklings and then Pixie didn't breed. Pixie is Twizzy's, Twizzler's daughter and Zelda is Link's mom. Link who's in with waffles. They'll breed for fall. Those are my only two other than Daisy, our big Nubian. We don't have babies. Daisy doesn't have babies because Daisy, you guys ask me this all the time. I love her. We would love to have many Nubians out of her. She just doesn't cycle. And I've never been able to quite figure out what the issue is with her. Her line is not very uh, parasite resistant. So I'm just not, we breed her because we would get milk, but she really struggled with pregnancy and with birth. Poppy is great. And so I feel like if I'm gonna continue to breed for a heavy milker, Nubian style milker, I'll just keep breeding Poppy because she's done so well. So that's everybody.